Hey everybody, this is Kai Altera here with Kai Talks About, and in this video I will be showing you guys my now established uh, mice breeder project. So um, I have three colonies. Um, this is colony one, this is colony two, and this is colony three. So the top, the first two colonies, they have one male mice to two, one male mouse to two female mice. And here at the bottom, oh, here they are. Here at the bottom, I have three female mice to one male mouse. And the only reason I have the odd number for um, colony three is because when I got the um, get the mice, there's actually one that would have been left over. So just to keep them all together, I went ahead and just got the seventh one. So. Originally it was supposed to be six. I saw there was one left over that would have been left on its own. So I just went ahead and I got a seventh one. So um, this is actually just a Sterilite container um, that I bought from Walmart. It was about just like about a handful of bucks, I think. Uh, it wasn't expensive at all. But um, so, so now that I have them, um, so now that I have them, uh, here are the basic things that you need for their upkeep. Uh, the first thing is water. As you can see, I have one water bottle for each one. Uh, all I did was drill a hole in it and I put the nozzle where they get the water from, got slipped it inside, and then I secured it. Um, the bedding that I use is just normal aspen wood shavings. So um, it does smell a little bit when you open it. That's because they apparently just use the bathroom looking at it. Um, but it doesn't smell too bad. Um, but when you open it, it smells a little bad. It's a little pungent, obviously, because, you know, you smell excrement, essentially. But it's not overpowering. It's not something that you'll be, like, choking and gagging or whatnot. So uh, to make sure you keep the smell down, what I normally do is when I do the bedding change, I keep about a third of the of their old bedding, and then I change out the rest of the bedding. Like, all this gets thrown in the trash. Now, before I put the new bedding down, though, I get some Arm & Hammer baking soda, and then I have a healthy helping of uh, baking soda down at the bottom. And then I get new aspen wood shaving. And then I go ahead and put it on top of it. Now that old bedding that was left from before, I actually sprinkle that all around the enclosure. Now the point of that is um, these mice, they like to scent mark. So they like to lay their territory. So when everybody smells it's like, oh, this is someone else's territory, not mine. So. The old bedding, since it's scent marked, when you sprinkle that around, they won't see a need to scent mark again. Because when they do scent mark, the smell is overpowering. Like, you can smell it from outside of your room. So, that's why I have to go ahead and just give them a couple of weeks. Um, I've had them for about two weeks. It takes a few days um, after they lay the scent mark for it to calm down, for that smell to naturally go away. And when you put the baking soda down, um, along with it, it really helps. So even now, um, the only way I really smell it is when I open the container and if I'm right next to the um, to the drawers. Um, overall, the mice are friendly. As you can see, this one, this female here, she's pregnant. And this female here, this is a female. Um, she, I don't know if she's pregnant or not, honestly. But uh, here's the male right here. And they all are pretty decent. Um, they don't try and bite or attack. They're more nervous around me than anything. Um, so the male, you know, when he smells me, he'll like smell me a little bit. Then he'll like pull away a little bit. Uh, the females, they're still just as nervous. But um, I've handled them a couple times. But what I would suggest you do is to make sure you interact with your mice. Socialize them. Get them used to being around you. Here they use the bathroom quite a bit. Uh, I just cleaned this uh, mouse wheel a couple hours ago, actually. It was like yesterday, I think. So I have to clean it again. Um, big thing, though, you want to make sure you wash your hands. You know, that's just hygiene 101. Make sure after you finish handling the mice, after you finish, you know, dealing with their bedding or whatnot, always wash your hands. I don't use antibacterial soap. I just use normal soap. Um, but make sure you wash your hands. That's because, I mean, look at this. They're all over there, you know, walking all over their excrement. They're walking where they pee and all that stuff. So just make sure that you change the bedding, I would say about once a week or as needed, and make sure that you always wash your hands after you finish interacting with them. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy. They have their one high, they have their mouse wheel, they have their bedding. Uh, what I also like to do 
is to have a bit of baking soda here in this cup. So all this is is a water bottle that I cut in half and I filled a little bit with baking soda. And you know, that's all you really need to do. As far as food is concerned though, I just give them adult rat food. And that pretty much covers it. Um, that's all you really need. I just get a handful and I put it in there. So I'm actually probably gonna have to feed them probably when I get back from work because they're chowing down quite a bit, especially since, you know, you have three mice for each container. All of them are hungry and they all exercise quite a bit. So you can hear them now. If you listen closely, you can hear the, um, hear them drinking. So yeah, that's all I do for my, my mice. Um, they should have babies. I would say within the next three weeks, they should, um, should see some pinkies here. So, uh, like I said, the, the moms, so like this one for right here, actually this one is pregnant too. You can see the bulge on the other side of it. That's not fat. That is pregnancy. So, um, what I, what I normally do is, um, what the thought is at least is when I get the babies, the babies, they'll, you know, they're going to be the feeders, not the parents, just the babies. Um, I'm going to do live feeding as I explained in my previous video that I'll have linked in the description. So yeah, once um, I have the babies, I'll let them grow for a little bit. And once they get to a particular size, I'll go ahead and feed them off to Laura, my baby rat snake, or feed it to Olympus, which is my, um, my milk snake. I also have my scorpions like Atlas, Titania, Ebony, um, Tsubaki. You know, I'll, I'll see if they'll eat them. Um, I know my flat rocks, African flat rock scorpion actually ate some. Um, ate one of the babies, uh, frozen thawed babies, but uh, we'll see if the scorpions will take to uh, the live young. But you know, um, I'll have a video posted on that as well. But this is part two of mice breeding, mice breeding part two. So thanks for watching this video. This is Kyle Terra here with Kai Talks About. Please like, share, subscribe, share with your friends and on social media, and leave a comment below. And please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Kite Talks About, one word. And my website is kitetalksabout.com. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day and a blessed weekend. And goodbye.